everybody, this is Hannah for Nerd Caliber. I'm here at OhioCon with, what is your name? Stephanie. And who are you cosplaying as today? Uh, Mizune from Soul Eater. And explain to me what is Soul Eater for people who don't know what it is. Uh, Soul Eater is an anime where most of the characters are normally 16 or under. They're going through an academy to learn to be death size or meisters to carry the size. And they're fighting witches, which is what I am. <laughs> cool. So is, what made you decide to do this character or this cosplay? I just love the character in the anime. She's only in for one episode. And she's just, like, they literally cat, the other character's a cat, and they literally cat fight all episode. But so is it kind of a funny thing to watch, or? It's funny, and in the manga, it goes into more detail and more depth with the character, but it's... She has the same personality I do, and I've only seen a couple online. I've never seen another character in a con for it, so it it's like I'm I get to be the evil villain that everyone goes after, and no one else is like I get to fight with people basically, and there's not another one of me around. So. And that's pretty fun for you, then. <laughs> I'd imagine so. So, uh, what lengths did you have to go to to make this outfit? Uh, the hardest part to figure out. Uh, was actually the upper part because it's actually a shoulder rig made out of coat hangers <laughs> and it took me about like doing this cosplay three different times to figure out how to get it done properly and effectively. The most pain in the butt part however was the hat. It's paper mache and it gets destroyed at the end of every convention so I've made this about five or six times You have now. to like get a case for it almost. <laughs> Well, it's, it started off by accident and just became tradition. So every year I build it better, stronger, so we have more fun. It gets abused and it gets passed around throughout the You can the roughhouse a little. Exactly. <laughs> so how, what else did you do to make the, uh, like, did you get the fabric at Joann's? Uh, fabric was Walmart for me. We don't have a Joann's clothes, so just oh. the pre-measured <laughs> stuff at Walmart. It took a lot more time because I seamed the edges up so it would stay on and be useful time after time. Mm -hmm. It. There's, uh, can't even think of the word, the stretchy stuff to, elastic, yeah, in the sleeves and around the waist to keep it in, but the hardest part is trying to find something underneath, because I've done the sports bra underneath, I've done regular bra, and it's fine when you're in cosplay, but to try and, you have to take this off to eat, and then you feel awkward standing in. Like in a bra in the food court, and you're like, oh. Yeah, so, but it's. It's pretty, it was easy once you got the pattern down, but it just, it was time consuming. And so, so have you done, um, you mentioned you've done the hat a couple times, to, and you had to do the shoulders. Was it the same for the rest of the outfit? Uh, for the most part. Uh, I had to do the skirt twice. First time was, re it ripped up the side, because I didn't add a opening in the back to, so when I stood up, it ripped. Oh. The second time I ended up having to redo it, because I gained a little bit of weight, and the skirt had just fit before and it, then it didn't fit, so. Well then, yeah, you put elastic in it doesn't even matter anymore. Exactly. <laughs> and if nothing else, I bobby pin it to the shorts underneath. Yeah. Do you find that cosplay is more of a hobby for you? Is it just kind of like a culture that you just dive into? Uh, depends on who I'm with. If I'm at a convention and I'm kind of walking by myself, it feels more of a hobby, but when you get your group that you go to anime conventions with, like at the hotel room with it becomes a culture like you all you do is fangirl and fanboy over everything and just oh do you know him do you know him and it just you become a family Definitely. so well thank you so much for letting me interview you today thank you for asking me <laughs> this is hannah and the artist sally for nerd caliber at ohio con 2014